one, two, three. Today I've got Alan Berkshire with me. I am really excited to talk to you, Alan. As you know from our preamble, uh, I am very excited to talk to you. I, I think you're fantastic. And it's time that everybody on our newsletter met you, Alan Berkshire. Alan, let's start out by telling people a little bit about yourself and what your series is. Well, I am originally from the UK, as obviously my accent would give away. Uh, I live between Austin, Texas and Monterey, Mexico. I'm in Mexico at the moment. I travel a lot. I've been all over Europe. I lived in Israel. Um, what else? Yeah, I've lived. <laughs> I lived on the beaches in Greece for wow. several weeks. Um, I finally settled in the US. I became a US citizen in uh, June 2023. Um, and basically, that's my history. I come uh, from a fairly big family. Um, my books are mainly dystopian. I I love to write in dystopia, so the Jungle series is basically that. Though I do write in horror, young adult, sci-fi, and epic fantasy. You said everything I like right there. So, Alan, if you had to uh, pick, I'm going to give you up to three writers that you think are big inspirations for you who would you name uh stephen king robert e howard and tolkien boy what a what a terrible group of authors right <laughs> so for king who would you say is your top or what would you say is your top book the stand. that's a tough question oh the stand you had an answer straight why well, is I've seen a couple of versions of the stand translated to the silver screen, and it doesn't. They can't do it. Uh, the ending is, I mean, in the actual film, they changed the ending anyway, and it was awful. Um, I just didn't like the way they, they ended it. But in the book, it's great. Now, did you like, because I've read it twice now. I read the original version that came out, and then I read that director's cut that had an extra... The, under, the unabridged page. Oh my God. That had a million more pages. Uh, did you read both? And which did yes, you prefer? The unabridged. So did I think you? it explains more. It's interesting. I, I think I would say the unabridged myself, but I, when I was reading it, it seemed to take me forever. So at some point I just kind of was like, oh my gosh, this is so much longer. So yes. I, I, I think it's better. I think when I reapproach it at some point, I'm going to agree with you, but I think the stand is an excellent answer. Great choice, Alan. Okay. I mean, I've also, have you read the, the Dark Tower books? Uh, I've only read the first three, and I love them. There's a new box set out there I would love to get my hands on. Are you a big Dark Tower fan as well? I, I've read it from top to bottom. I've mm. read it, th I've been through it twice, and I've, there's, no, there's no spoilers here, but the ending caused a lot of controversy when it came out. Right. A lot of people were angry about the ending. But I thought it was great. So, so I can't, I mean, that will inspire people to read it, I hope, because it is a very protracted work. It goes on and on and on. And a lot of people say that King is very, very wordy. But I like his style. He's one of the few authors that can pull me into a book straight away. Right. Yeah. Uh, he, a great example is. There. You've read it, correct? Yeah. I, the beginning of it is one of the, it's a masterpiece as far as I'm concerned. I fell so in love with that book in two pages and it propelled me all the way through. I know people that stayed up all night reading that book in one sitting and you go, how possibly, but it's because of how he writes and the way he drives you through the story. It's amazing. It is. Have you ever read Joe Hill? I have. Uh, I've. I'm going to try that he did a collaboration with his father and uh what was it called? Is it Sleeping Angels? Oh. Something like that. Are, are you I, thinking I of Joe or is getting into that? Well, the other son did one with him called uh Sleeping Beauties, I believe. That's the one. I, I had That's not Joe. That. 
No, that's not I, Joe. That's his other. That's Stephen King's other son. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, um, but uh, I had. I've had. I've got it, but I've, I have trouble getting into it. I don't know why, but I'm having trouble getting into it. Yeah, I, I will eventually read it. We got lucky a few years ago. We saw a panel at a comic con, and uh, it was Joe Hill, Daniel Kraus, Josh Mallerman, and uh, Christy or Christine Henry. I don't know if you know all of them, but I don't. Oh, you would love them. <laughs> you would yeah. love them. They're all fantastic. Uh, so, okay, Alan, this is not supposed to be a full blown interview. This is supposed to be three questions, which we've already <laughs> blown. Uh, okay. Third question. I'm going to love to hear your answer on this because you've traveled and you've been in all these different settings and tried so much different food. What is the best food city in your opinion? Uh, <laughs> Paris. Paris. Paris, France. I, Wonderful. I have, again, I'm a very plain person. I, I eat very plainly. I, that's the only problem I have here in Mexico. They put salsas and sauces and chilies in everything, and I can't handle that. I don't like it. Sure. Um, but in Paris, uh, we were there just last year. I had no problems whatsoever. I mean, I like French food anyway. So, but yeah, definitely Paris. Is there a favorite meal you've had there? Um, well, it's generally standard things like Coco Van. Uh, I love snails. I'm allergic to seafood. Oh, okay. So I can't eat so like shrimp, prawns, crab, lobster, anything like that. Though I can eat mussels and I can eat snails and I can eat oysters. So, if you want to eat oysters, Paris is the place to go. So that does, is right. Do your food allergies ever come into your writing? I mean, if you're dealing in a dystopian setting, uh, food becomes an issue. Do do food allergies ever play a factor? Yes, I've used it a, a few times um, where I, other stuff that I haven't had published yet, where food does become a problem because of common food. Allergies are obviously peanuts, fish, seafood. Um, and I mean, some people have got allergies to eggs and milk or lactose. So um, I'm writing the fifth novel in the junk series. There wasn't supposed to be a fifth novel, but Adam Blake wouldn't leave me alone. He kept haunting me. <laughs> so in the end, I, I contacted Erica, said, look, I've, I've sent two young adult novels in. But I'm being haunted here. I can't get Adam Blake out of my head. I need to do a fifth novel. She said, go ahead. But this is more of an aftermath of the original four. Um, and again, I'm doing a lot more characterization this one. And again, allergies and various uh, minor details are going to be brought into play without losing the, the momentum of the novel. Fantastic. Okay, Alan, thank you so much for guesting. This was supposed to be three questions. We've already ruined this show permanently. <laughs> uh, and those of you that are listening, that are checking out the newsletter, uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to our newsletter because we're going to do interviews with various authors from Four Horsemen. Uh, and watch the newsletter because we have other podcasts that uh, – I'm involved with or that my friends are involved with, they're going to start having some of our authors on. So you'll get to hear a lot more from Alan in the near future, and we will promote it on the website. We will promote it on our newsletter and across our social media. One last question, Alan, go ahead and pick your favorite. What social media would you like people to follow you on? Um, I tend to use Facebook the most. So and everything I post, I put on TikTok, I put on X, I put on Insta, um, and I've started getting into uh, the video scene, so to speak, and collaborating with a lot of other 4HB authors where we're collaborating and making videos as a, helping each other, basically. So we can obviously get the biggest spread we can over all the platforms. Excellent. And what, what is your handle on Facebook? You said that's your number one that you like to use. It's, uh, it is Alan, Alan Berkshire author. 
Alan Berkshire, author, and I will put a link in the newsletter for people to follow. Alan, again, thank you so much, and good luck with the new book. I hope everybody listening buys multiple copies and gives them away to all their friends. Absolutely. Thanks, Alan. Thank you very much, Rob.